What's going on everyone? In this video, we'll be talking about the best study routine for the SAT when it is literally a month away. So things to do, right? There's a bunch of things you can do. Everyone has their own different study routine. I've said things in the past. I'm going to say things in the future. But as of right now, I think the best study routine is the following. And let's, let's jump right into the video without wasting any time. So the first thing is a split, right? Some people have the, the three day split where they do three days math, three days reading. Some do the week split where they'll spend like two weeks of math, two weeks of reading, but they'll alternate. So it's like, uh, so there's four weeks left until a month, right? So first week math, then reading, the math, then reading. Personally, I would not recommend that. What I recommend is a two day, two day, one day split. And you guys are probably like, what? The, what? Where, did the, where did the one day come from? So this is how it goes. It's two days math, two days reading, and then it's a practice test. And now why do I say this split? Well, here's why I say the split. First of all, you don't want to go too long without practicing both sections, okay? Doing a week of math and a week of reading, that's too big of a gap where the stuff you just learned in math the previous week can start like falling out your brain as you're doing a week of reading, right? And then when you do the next week of math, you're gonna have to relearn those things that fell out your brain, relearn some new things. And as a result, you're gonna be like low key falling behind and with a month left, you don't wanna fall behind at all, right? You wanna stay ahead of schedule. You gotta make sure you get the best score you possibly can on the SAT and study for it like the best way possible. Because like I said, guys, I started studying for my SAT two, two and a half weeks before it was actually administered and I got like a 1530 the first time. So it's, it's possible, right? So a month is more than enough times. Do not start, don't even think about panicking if you only have a month left to study for the SAT because a month is a lot. All right, a month is a lot of time and you guys will be like shocked by how much time you actually have within a month and how much you can improve your score, right? So there's two day, two day, one day split. So there's two days math, two day reading the practice test. That practice test is also very important because by doing a practice test, you're constantly monitoring your progress, right? Are you studying math correctly? Are you studying reading correctly? These are questions you can start asking yourself by looking at your practice test scores. If they're constantly improving uh, even like a little bit, then that's good. Right? and to start declining you might want to ask yourself am i really studying effectively like is this split working for me and this split isn't for everyone this is the split i use but for some people they might like one day one day one day where you do one day math one day reading one day math one day reading practice test right personally two day two day is one for me uh it's up to you guys and up to you guys to see what works best for you but let's talk about the two day math right you want to mix up the calc and non-calc okay you don't have to do the calculator both days but you have to do the non-calc both days the reason I say this is because the non-calc helps you when it comes to mental math, math by hand, right? And you see that a lot of problems on the calculator section, you don't even need a calculator for. So if you're really strong when it comes to, you know, by hand math skills, like doing math mentally and using like a paper and pencil, being able to answer hard SAT math questions that don't require a calculator, you're gonna find that the foundation you have built as a result will make the calculator section so much easier. At the same time, there is, some, there is some uniqueness to a calculator section where you need to know how to use a calculator, which is why when it comes to the two day math split, I want you to be studying non-calc both days, but only study calculator one day. Because calculator, you don't need to, you don't need to put that much effort in when it comes to study. Then you wanna study it, but you don't have to study it that much, right? Non-calc is plenty and the calc is like, hey, you kinda don't need to go too hard when it comes to that. And now let's talk about reading, right? What about reading? Like, do you wanna not do comprehension both days? Do you not wanna do writing both days? So for reading, I would say you wanna mix up the reading practice and writing practice, right? Like make sure you do spread them out for both days. But the thing is you don't have to do writing both days. See with reading, there's sometimes you find yourself like reading so many passages, right? Answering so many comprehension questions that one, your brain would probably be tired as well as you wanna spend more time being able to understand a passage, fully comprehending it because that base skill will also help you in the writing section. And you notice this common theme where you know, one section can learning, mastering one section can help you on the other section tremendously, right? Mastering non-calc can help you on the calculator section tremendously. Mastering reading comprehension will help you tremendously on the SAT writing part. So that's why I want you guys to mainly focus on SAT reading both days and SAT writing, you can focus on only one of the two days. And that's how you guys can mix this, you know, this math up as well as reading up. And now when it comes to practice tests, you know, I follow the simple quote, practice tests, more the merrier, all right? The more practice tests you take, the more you're, you're gonna be able to see your growth. At the same time, you don't wanna spam practice tests. Like taking your practice test every day isn't really gonna help you. I say take you one to two every week is good because that's enough time. Uh, you're giving yourself in between tests to learn, actually learn something, actually go over mistakes, 
And one of, the, one of the most crucial parts of the practice test is what happens after. After you take a practice test, you want to spend at least like uh, two, one to two hours really going over the stuff you got wrong, understanding why you got it wrong and doing practice on like Khan Academy or some other resource where you can review what you got wrong, review problems that are like the problem you got wrong, do those problems and then make sure you never make that same mistake ever again and you never get that problem wrong ever again. And by doing that, you're constantly improving yourself. You're constantly making sure that you're not gonna make the same mistake over and over again. And you're only gonna make so many mistakes on the SAT, right? And if you're able to like master 95% of your mistakes, you're looking at only getting what, only like a handful of questions wrong, right? On the entire SAT. And at that point, that's how you get that, that 1550, that 1580, maybe that 1600. So this study routine is probably one of the best study routines I honestly like could say for myself. And I feel like a lot of students, in the, my a lot of students I've tutored in the past have benefited from this routine. So if you guys enjoy this routine, if you guys have tried it before, comment down below. If you guys are gonna try it, comment down below and maybe watch this video like two weeks from now. Let me know how, how it's currently going. Thank you all for watching. Check out my ST Math course in the description below. Easy 800, peace.